Hello everyone, Doris here. Well today I have this beautiful journal I want to share with you. If you go to Facebook and find the group Marcy Davis Junk Journal and Friends, you will see that Marcy and her daughter had come up with a Drinks to Warm You Junk Journal Challenge for the month of November. Now my drink of choice is coffee and more specifically Dunkin Donuts coffee, uh, drip coffee, with vanilla creamer. I'm just a simple girl, I guess, with simple taste. This coffee journal that I have made, I followed Crafty Irina's altered book process. It's the first time trying an altered book and I love it because I didn't have to deal with sewing in signatures, so it was a really nice change from that type of journal. I also uh, used some of Barbara from 49 Dragonflies, her ideas on YouTube. I will have those, both of those linked below for you. On the cover here, I've used vintage lace and some buttons and an applique, and as well as this fabric here. Um, behind the image is a piece of wallpaper, and the digital image is from, uh, let's see, the image is from Digital Hobby Helper. Other digitals I've used throughout the journal are Liana Scraps, Victoria Designs, Mrs. Cog's Crafts, and Dear Julie Julie, and I'll have all of those linked at the bottom of the video for you to check out. I've used a seam binding closure. Inside here we have scrapbook paper, and then this is a Stampin' Up! stamp that made this little coffee ring. Some of the digital images that I have purchased. Here's a little piece of vintage lace and a piece of fabric. Hold that up for you there. A little digital image. And you'll notice I did a lot of stitching on the paper before I adhered it down in the book. And that is a crafty Irene idea. She has wonderful tutorials. I really enjoyed uh, following along with her. Inside here we have this recipe index card that I covered with fabric. A tag with some fabric, scrapbook paper, vintage rickrack, and vintage seam binding. All of my trims throughout this book are all vintage. There is nothing new in here. Here's an image from one of the many cookbooks that I have. I believe this one may have come from a Better Homes and Gardens Christmas cookbook. This cookbook image, and I've made this little tag down here. It's from Lowney's cookbook from 1907. So I just went ahead and I went through my old, old cookbooks, and I just made copies of things that had to do, anything that had to do with coffee. So it's just really been fun to read all of these and see how specific they were about making something as simple as coffee. And I should add too that these tickets that I decided to write all my recipe resources on are from Amour Fabriques. Inside the pocket here. So this first tag, this is a, an image from an Ideals magazine. This here is from Mrs. Coggs. Have a little piece of fabric underneath there. This here is from a grocer's invoice pad, and it says White Vanilla Coffee. White Villa Coffee, I'm sorry. And when I got the tablet, it's all of them, the pages are really brittle, so I just carefully glued it onto a piece of coffee dyed paper. You see, I did more of that stitching all around there. Here we have a top pocket with a tag. And this image here, the background is from Dear Julie Julie. I have a book page, vintage fabric, which is also the backdrop here. And uh, a little story about that fabric. Uh, I was in a little thrift shop in a town right next to me here. And I found the fabric in the bottom of a bin. And I know it was old because it didn't have any maker's label on it. And the thrift store, their proceeds go to help the little theater that is next door. So I thought that was a really cute idea that they do. I also uh, did a little hand stitching around here. Another digital image.
Here I have a little lace flip for the digital image. And my coffee dyed paper in this journal comes from Vintage Polka Dot Shop, which is an Etsy store. Over here we have one of those stamped embroidery patterns. And I just put a little vintage trim along here. And I made a couple, I turned some of the pages over to make a couple little pockets. That idea I got from watching Barbara on 49 Dragonflies. And then this is covered with scrapbook paper. And I just did a little distressing sanding on the edges there. So like this recipe is has coffee in it. So I thought that would be a cool idea to include in the journal. This is from one of the digital kits. And then, then here's another recipe, Cafe Ole. And I put the history of Cafe Ole on the back. I just thought it was very interesting that it is a New Orleans institution. The milk mellows the strong chick chicory flavor. Chicory was introduced during the Civil War when regular coffee was hard to get. So I thought that was a fascinating piece of history. Here we have a piece of, from a photo album, digital image, more of that lace that I had used on the cover. And this actually is a vintage um, handkerchief. So I've used that throughout the book. Here I just took some brown paper like that comes in the, when you get a package in the mail. This is a stencil from Tim Holtz. And then down here, that ticket that I wrote on the back of for this image. This is a 1971 reprint of the Hershey's 1934 cookbook. Over here, scrapbook paper backed pages. Made a different style pocket here. This tag with a digital image, some vintage lace and the rickrack seam binding. Kept all the, the back of the tags are pretty simple. They're just the coffee dyed paper. Little image here. This is from a work basket magazine. Just cut out with my decorative scissors. This little advertisement came from a St. Paul's Guild book of recipes. I loved it because it had something to do with coffee. McGarvey's Flame Room Coffee. Endorsed and served by many of the leading hotels, cafes, clubs, and dining cars in the Northwest. McGarvey Coffee Company from Minneapolis, Minnesota. On this side, made a little band for the digital image. This comes from Dear Julie Julie. Just put a little piece of scrapbook paper there. Another image from Julie. I should have filled the book. I didn't even think about that. Now I want to go back and put some little papers in there to make it a true little booklet. The next tag. Another image from one of my cookbooks. Some scrapbook paper. I've kind of stitched around a little bit. Did a little bit of uh, that distressed inks technique there. And some seam binding. Vintage line paper, another little vintage trim, piece of fabric in a digital image, another digital image, more vintage trim, another digital image. Here, I fussy cut out this image. I believe this was from Victoria Designs. We have another pocket, digital image I just made into a journal card. Here I made a top tuck with scrapbook paper I stitched on, some trim. And then this stamp here is called Me and Carrie Lou. I'm not sure where the stamp came from, but that was the name on the stamp. Here we have another recipe card using some strong coffee to make a mocha pudding. That same image on the back there. Lime paper. Vintage lace. More fabric. Vintage 
that vintage hanky there and digital image. Let me put that up a little closer so you can see that better. Another beautiful digital image. Put a little lace up at the top here. Another double pocket. This is from that same grocer's invoice. Here's a journal card from, with a digital image. I stitched around it, piece of fabric and lace trim there. This here's one of those little notepads. I cut the edge of it off and put it over on this side. This is a piece of graph, vintage graph paper. Another image from a work basket magazine. Another recipe. This is all from Metropolitan Life Cookbook. Don't believe it had a date on it. Another journal card. And same image that was from the front of the book. This was my favorite image out of all the digitals I used in this book. This is my absolute favorite. I really like it. Backed it with some lace back here. Some vintage rickrack. Really unique rickrack because it had like the black and white in there. Thought it was perfect for this book. Digital image, another top pocket with the tag, book page with lace, that Tim Holtz stencil back there, seam binding. Another digital, another cookbook recipe. This is for cocoa and coffee. This one came from Recipes at Modern Cost by Constant C. Hart, 1938. I had so much fun going through my cookbooks, and I just carefully uh, took out the page and copied it and put it back in the book. So these are all my originals. Here we have Dear Julie, Julie digital image, back to the paper doily, and a piece of fabric. Another tag I made kind of like a collage with different scrapbook papers coffee dyed paper and a digital image, fabric. On this side, here's another one of those recipe index cards. I just cut the word or off the top there, made a little notch, piece of fabric and trim, digital image. Again, another Dear, Dear Julie Julie image, really cute. Made a little mini tag here. With some pretty blue velvet trim. I just stapled that on. Next tag. I'm not sure which uh, shop this digital is from. That's the only one I could not quite figure out. This is from one of the digitals that I'm using in this kit that I mentioned earlier. Another fabric tie. Here's another recipe with coffee, Cafe Brulot. Oh, I'm probably saying that wrong. Cafe Creole. This came from the United States Regional Cookbook of 1947. Another journal card with fabric, paper doily, and a digital image. Besides liking coffee, I do like some hot tea once in a while. So I just took my hot tea. In this, this case, I, it was from a Bigelow Vanilla Chai. And I just tucked it up underneath my ticket there. More of that beautiful trim. Here I did a little side tuck. It's actually a double. You could put something in here too. Digital image. I just put in this little envelope. I believe this came from Vintage Polka Dot Etsy shop as well. Another recipe card, the Watkins Cookbook. Watkins Coconut Coffee Frosting. Beautiful digital image with another piece of vintage trim. Here's another vintage fabric. 
poem came from an ideals magazine. It's called Coffee Break by Elsie Elaine Halsey. Oh, the coffee now is perking, and the table set for two. There's coffee cake if you want some, and a coffee cup of blue. A checkered cloth is on the table, and the silver wears a gleam. There's a blue bowl of sugar and a pitcher full of cream. The curtains at the window, with their ruffled tiebacks gay, send out an invitation, so please don't stay away. Geraniums, too, are blooming upon the window sill. Come and visit with me, neighbor, and your coffee cup I'll fill. There's a lot of friendship waiting. The latch strings out to you. We'll chat a while and laugh a while. That's exactly what we'll do. So walk across the yard and click the garden gate. I'm ready for my coffee break, but if you'll come, I'll wait. I just loved it. Perfect for this journal. Here, coffee dyed paper, another one of those embroidery pieces, lace back here, more vintage lace, scrapbook paper, another pocket, another image from one of my books. Now coffee automatically, the way you like it, when you like it, when you want it. Time saver, no more waiting for coffee at the last minute. You can make coffee in advance at your convenience. Automatically keeps hot and savory for hours. It's always ready when you are. <laughs> you gotta love these digital, I'm sorry, you gotta love these, these old advertisements. Coffee dyed paper with that Tim Holtz stencil. It's just perfect for this book. More trim. Another pocket. Another one of those stamped embroidery patterns. Digital image I made into a tag with some pretty blue seam binding. Another image, more lace up here. So lots of lace in this journal, lots of stitching, and always lots of room to write. And another thing, if I can, I always like to include an image from a pattern. I love sewing patterns, I collect sewing patterns, and this was perfect for this journal because the coloring, just, just perfect. More trim, more of that Tim Holtz stencil. And then here I used some feed sack fabric that I just made into a ruffle. And on the back here, I just clipped in this envelope, vintage lace with a digital image. This image here is from Work Basket Ma Magazine. And then I just made a journal card in here with one of the digital images. And I did the same thing on the back that I did on the front. That is my beautiful coffee journal. I had so much fun making this. Thank you so much, Marcy, to you and your daughter for offering the challenge. I look forward to doing more challenges within your group. And thank you so much for stopping by. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. And for now, I need a refill. <laughs>